The weather at British air shows sometimes leaves me wondering what on earth I'm doing with my time, especially here at Lucas in 2011. Some pretty Scottish spells of weather there, but well worth the trip north. The tornadoes looking fabulous, roaring in from the west there. The two F-16s displaying, the Belgian and the Dutch, the Czech Gripen as well, and the Petrie de France. And this was the Red Arrow's first display since losing their colleague, Flight Lieutenant John Egging, after Bournemouth Air Festival just two weeks prior to this air show. So a very emotional time for the team and for everyone here at RF Lucas in 2011. This segment from our British Air Show's 2011 programme, that's a programme that rounds up all of the air show action that we've seen throughout the air show season. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of air show nostalgia and it is nostalgia 10 years ago now from the RF Lucas Air Show 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Roy Chunky Vinken and today I'm proud to present to you the 2000 M11 F-16 demo team of the Royal Netherlands Air Force. Those of you with keen eyes would have already spotted them. Away to your right hand side. About to run in. And commence their run and break to land. Now of course uh, you'll all be aware that we suffered the tragic loss of our friend, colleague and excellent pilot, Flight Lieutenant John Egging just over two weeks ago at the Bournemouth Air Festival. Obviously you can imagine it's been a difficult two weeks for us and we dearly miss our friend John. Well, although you won't see Eggman in the display today, you'll see where he used to be, and although he's not, not there physically, well, spiritually, he's still with us, and believe me, when I watch the display here today, I'll be seeing him up there with the team. This patrouille uh, was born on the tradition of the Patrouille des Temps, uh, almost 60 years ago, in 1953, when a uh, commentator, uh, Nessinger, called it to patrol the France on an air show. It was in 1953. This is the Sarg which translates as Griffin in English. Single engine, fly-by-wire, has had to be cut short. Flown by Commandant Mitch Bulin from number 349 Fighter Squadron. Both pilot and aircraft remain operational throughout the display season. Mitch has undertaken operational missions in Kosovo and Afghanistan. Currently a flight commander and operations officer with number 349 fighter squadron. Now the colour scheme on this aircraft was chosen to represent the vortices that form around the airframe when high G is pulled. Perhaps not as colourful as the Royal Netherlands Air Force F-16 we saw earlier, but as demanded by Chief of the Air Staff, the aircraft has to remain operational at all times. to get back into the display flying after the accident two weeks ago. And most importantly for us, it's our way to honour our missing friend Eggman. But of course, you, the British public, expected of us, 
And of course, it's very much in British military ethos that once you've taken a knock, you get back on your feet and you continue what you set out to do. Gentlemen, the Reds are back and we are airborne here for the Lucas Air Show 2011. Now John was inspired to be a pilot by his father and he got a bug for it at a very early age when his father used to let him sit in the jump seat of his airliners. He flew for a very well-known British airline. And when John joined the Royal Air Force, it became clear from an early day that he was actually going to be a very talented pilot. After his flying training, he went on to be creamed off. That means we take the top pilots out of the flying training course at RAF Valley and we make them straight into a flying instructor. And of course, that requires a lot of talent and dedication. Well, John made an excellent creamy at RAF Valley and that's where he spent his first tour on 208 Squadron. Such was his skill and professionalism that at the end of his period with 208 Squadron he became a member of the Central Flying School, so an instructor's instructor. And it was no shock that at the end of his tour there he went on to fly the Harrier GR7 and GR9 with 4 Squadron Royal Air Force, recently disbanded of course along with the Harrier fleet. Happy 4 Squadron as it was called was a very appropriate place for John to be. Eggman, as we knew him, was a very happy character, and those who knew him knew that he always had a smile on his face. It's the Tornado GR4 Royal Demo for 2011, and I can promise you it'll be loud, I can promise you it'll be fast, and a lot of stuff's going to be on fire. We call in air support from two Tornado GR4s, Alien Formation. From the right, alien formation. The 2011 tornado roll demonstration. 